Hey. When I say daily, you say upload. Let's go. Daily. Daily. Y'all suck. Doesn't matter though. Anyway, today we got a battle versus Pepito gameplays. Now we probably secretly looking for gameplays, man. I don't know. If this dude has a channel, somebody hit him up. Tell him that your boy Shiny featured you in the video. You know what I mean? Anyway, we got a battle. His team looking fresh as fuck. My team, we got the old squad with some renovations, some do or die shit inside of it you know what i mean switched out one mod put this and that move set this and that anyway this team is around my boy scarf drober now don't mess with him i repeat don't mess with him don't fuck with him i right? he's here to take souls up in this bitch but let's go though we're gonna start off this battle real quick for y'all all right i start off the battle he goes into mienfu i go into arch and aka the first Flying Pokemon. You Aerodactyl fans can get the fuck out. He U turns out because he's scared because I'm going to acrobatics him. But of course, I carry Rock to my arch and just in case for these situations. I catch a star you on the slow switching. He gets slowed. I'm scared of the skull of the ice beam. I can't KO this thing because I'm still holding my berry juice. Go into Spritz, aka live. Eat up the ice beam. Then I choose to go for Moonblast. No, I was joking. I predicted his double switch. Went into my checkmate. Boy, as something has to hold the knockoff. He chooses to save his Magnemite, which is probably Barry Juice. Go into Larvesta. Larvesta loses Eviolite. Doesn't matter. Luckily, I didn't get the burn from Flame Body. I went into Archon because I was scared of the Will O Wisp. You know what I mean? Flurbus, whatever. He was scared out. He went straight to the Magnemite as I go for Rock Tomb again. Now his Magnemite, it stays here. I chose to go for Rock Tomb again because I was not about to let him get the upper advantage on me by switching in something. I miss a rock tomb, doesn't matter, as he went for endured. I think he probably thought that I was gonna switch out, so he probably stayed in to try to get a volt switch off. Doesn't work for him, I earthquake and I kill him. Dead, finito. He comes in with his star, you. I'm still scared of this thing, right? He goes for ice beam, I switch out. I don't know why he doesn't go for scald, he probably doesn't have it at this point. That's what I'm thinking, doesn't matter. I stay in with Liv, with Spritzy, he brings in Larvesta. Moonblast doesn't do anything to this thing. Bulky as hell, but I need to stay in to get him to will with me because I know he won't use it a second time because we know he ain't that real. I use the wish opportunity, go into my arch and eat up the flare blitz, yummy. Give me more, senpai. As the wish comes down, but I'm full health thanks to Barry Juice, go for the same rock to him again. Of course, hacks. We love it, don't we? Yes, we do. Doesn't matter. I go into Krogunk. I suspect he does not carry Psychic. He gets a crit when I switch into Krogunk. Unfortunately, with Ice Beam, doesn't matter as long as he doesn't get that freeze. I'm forced to go back into my Spritzy, eat up the Ice Beam from this star. You, I'm burnt. I need some health. I probably need to get a wish off, so I need to do that shit. I go for aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is my safest play because you know I'm really trying to get some HP back. Right here, I'm against this Larvesta. I can't do much to this thing. I can weaken it with a couple moon blasts, but it won't do much. I need to wait for an opportunity. This is the same thing again. Wait for an opportunity that I can wish and come in when he does not willow west. All right? That's what I'm doing. Now, he flare blitz me. That does a ton of damage. Y'all see the power of that shit? But look at Spritzy. Did you see that moon blast, bruh? Did you see that moon blast? That was a sign of defense that I'm going to kill you. Thanks to that, I predict him going for morning sun. Doesn't matter. Arch him back. And once again, he switches into star you. We got the same effect again. Rock tombed, slowed, acrobatics do your work, and he fucking lives. Holy shit. The first mind to die on my squad goes away, and come on, it's the mind that was supposed to win me the game. Doesn't matter. I can go into my own Drober now. Remember, I'm scarfed. I go for the rock slide just to make sure he doesn't go for arch and switches on me, which he does. Doesn't matter. I popped his berry juice. I wanted to stay in, man, but he switched out of Mianfu. Mianfu's gonna eat up this rock slide that I end up missing. Hex, we love him. Doesn't matter. Switch out my drawer. Go into Krogon real quick. Eating up anything this Mianfu can do to me. Anything. You hear me? As he switches out, I go for Gunk Shot. Because I'm trying to kill shit. Boom. He resisted. Doesn't matter. Right here, I choose to stay in second my Krogon because it would have gave me a free switch and into my Ghastly. Now, right here, for some reason, not for some reason, I did not Sucker Punch because I did not want him to roost on me. Okay, that would have been a problem. Like I said, I was sacking it. Free switching into Ghastly, aka Gas Gas, aka shoot you with a shadow ball and dead, dead, bye, bye. 
doesn't matter. He goes into Diglett trying to revenge kill me. Nah, son. It doesn't work that way. I just switch into my spritzy and sack this shit off. Unfortunately, I'ma miss you, bruh. You was a soldier. It's fine. We got Scarf Drober coming in the building. It's fine. He doesn't want to stay in. He doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want to catch this work. He switches out into Larvesta, which is probably a misplay. For him, he should have probably stayed in, because now Drober takes a soul from Larvesta when his Diglett is actually potentially Sash, because Life Orb didn't affect him when he killed Sprissy, so he obviously doesn't have it. And what happens? He goes into Star U, he doesn't know I'm Sash. What happens? He loses Star U too. Here I find out that his Mianfu is actually fucking Choice Scarf. Nigga, bruh, I'm meeting too many of these Choice Scarf men to now that I might have to use one myself. As I go into Gassy now, he's forced with a situation. Either stay in and die or sack his diglet off. I think he misplayed. And what happens now? Basically, I kill his men for the Shadow Ball. He goes into Diglett, his last mod. He tries to sucker punch me. Too bad for him. I do carry Destiny Bond when he sucker punches. Boom, he's faced with a track. Well, right now, it's what happened. Diglett versus Ghastly. He probably thought that because I have Destiny Bond, I don't have Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Scummy move to run on Ghastly. I don't care. I run it. And we end up winning the battle. And Pawn didn't even get to show himself. What's popping? All you people who be saying Pawn is OP, I didn't even use him. What's popping? Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this battle. This has been your boy Shawnee GG to my boy Pepito Game Plays. And uh, signing off. Whatever, do that. And by the way, if y'all like this background music, it's from Food Wars. Go watch it. If you're not watching it, what are you doing with your life? Damn, let's go.